Can moonshine really make you go blind? Stay tuned to find out the details. Welcome to Calm Mad Cocktails, I'm Derek Schomer, and today we're going to talk about blindness and moonshine. Can it really happen? Can you really go blind from moonshine? If this is your first time here, think about subscribing. This show is all about building education, building cocktails, flavors and tastes. All muddled with, all muddled with a little bit of humor. Boom. That was your humor. And it's free. So why wouldn't you subscribe? So let's talk about this moonshine thing. I heard a couple people asking, I think it was part of the series I did on seven myths about cocktails. And they asked, can you go blind from moonshine? Listen, it's a tricky one. Your fingers can also make you go blind if you poke hard enough. Staring at the sun can make you go blind. Genetic disorders can make you go blind. Glaucoma, diabetes, chlamydia, these are all things that can make you go blind. Moonshine's not gonna directly make you go blind. However, four shots, one of the toxic chemicals that could come out of a distillate during the first period of its production run, could make you go blind. When you're heating up a distillate, there are four things that occur. First, you get your four shots. Those are your methanols, your acetones, and other really bad toxic chemicals. Then you get to the heads. This is when you get your paint thinner, solvent-like smells. The four shots make up about 5% of your distillate. The heads make up 20 to 30% of your distillate. Then there's the heart. That's the good stuff. That's the stuff you actually want. And then it finishes with the tails. Again, the tails, about 30 to 40% of the total distillate. So your yield isn't going to be extremely high. The tails tend to have that fatty protein, kind of weak and thin, not really a desirable flavor. So if you're basically looking at almost 60, 65% of the product being waste, Outside of being able to take your heads and your tails, your feints, and re-distill them down, uh, other than that, the core is pretty small. The magic comes into the cut. It's really an art. Distillation could be considered an art. There is definitely science involved. As you're heating this up and you're getting the initial condensed liquid coming out, obviously you want to get rid of the first, the four shots. Then there's the gray area. This is where, where does your head stop and where does the heart begin? And there's a little bit of fuzziness where that specific line is going to be drawn. It could be timing, it could be temperature, it could be temperature timing, it could be how you taste it, how you smell it when you're making the distillate to figure out exactly where you want that cut line to be. And you don't want it to be oily or undesirable either. So when you're done, you need to cut it off at the right point. You don't want it to be too soon or you're going to lose some of the heart. You don't want it to be too late or you're going to get a weird oily, not a good thing. But the real problem comes down to those four shots. The methanol, the methyl alcohol that occurs within that first period of a distillation run is bad. When methanol hits your liver, it breaks into a series of compounds. One of them is formic acid. The other one's formaldehyde. I shouldn't need to tell you why drinking formaldehyde is a bad idea, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It does strange things to your nervous system. Formic acid, according to research doctors in science, has a damaging effect on your optic nerves. Blindness. Dr. Bruce Goldberg, Director of Toxicity at the University of Florida College of Medicine, says about 10 ml is all you really need of methanol to cause toxic nerve damage to your eyeballs. So how does blindness and moonshine become a thing? Because alcohol tends to be expensive, tends to be highly taxed. And I don't know if you noticed, but alcohol has had its share of bad history. When governments decide to ban alcohol, People figure out how to make alcohol, and they don't always do it in the most safe fashion. In order to make cost-effective hooch, to raise your margins, you cheapen and you cut corners. When you cheapen and you cut corners, you tend to kill people, or at least make them blind. The problem is your Uncle Tommy uses whatever he can get his hands on to make moonshine in his backyard. An old truck's radiator makes a great condenser. It also allows you to leach leads and antifreeze into your moonshine. If that doesn't kill you, the bad distillation could. The bottom line is, moonshine is not going to make you go blind. A bad distillation can indeed make you go blind. It has to do with chemicals and science. And it turns out, you distill a lot of things. Bad vodka, bad gin, bad whiskey. They can all make you go blind. Or they could potentially just kill you. Drink responsibly. If you're going to attempt to create your own alcohol distillate in your backyard, do it safely. That means you do research and you take your time to do it the right way. Don't kill off any of my potential subscribers. That's just being a douche. 
So there you go. If you like this type of video, you want to learn more, don't forget, subscribe to Call Man Cocktails. It's right down there. There's two videos off to the side. One of them is a playlist. It's probably going to teach you more about the spirits industry and about crazy things dealing with alcohol. And if Calm Man Cocktails just isn't enough, go to youtube.com slash thecraftcocktail. That's our new channel teaching you more stuff about crafting cocktails. We're teaching you how to drink.